Dear friends, my name's Heidi and I thank you for joining us today. It's good that we're here this time of year to greet God's holy seasons, seeking and sensing resurrection rays. They fill our bones, our hearts, our spirits and spur us forward to newer days and ways. We in the Oblate community are so grateful that you've joined us so that we can comfort each other and support one another by praying together and live as a community of faith and hope. In the midst of these days, we know that we cannot physically come together to pray and support one another. So we thank you for joining us online. As we celebrate the joy of the Easter journey together, let's remember in a special way those who are currently ill or isolated. We pray for those who have lost their lives to COVID-19 around the world. And we pray for their families and for all who are grieving, remembering especially those people in India. So let us begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. God of hope. Each year you gladden our hearts as we celebrate the mystery of Christ's resurrection. Through this Easter mystery, touch our lives with the healing power of your love. May we hold fast to the blessings of Easter and come to possess the gifts of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'd like now to share with you today's reading from John's Gospel. I'll read it twice and with a short pause in between so as to help God's word find a home in our hearts. If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this because they do not know the one who sent me. If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this, because they do not know the one who sent me. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. It's easy to pick up the impression that following Jesus brings a life full of blessings. I heard someone say to my friend, if you are a Christian full of the love and joy of Christ, why don't you tell your face about it? But I knew my friend well, and in truth, she had plenty to feel anxious about. This following by Adrian Plass was a favourite of hers. When I became a Christian, I said, Lord, now fill me in. Tell me what I'll suffer in this world of shame and sin. He said, your body may be killed and left to rot and stink. 
Do you still want to follow me? I said, Amen, I think. Well, I sat back and thought a while and then tried a different ploy. Now, Lord, I said, the good book says the Christians live in joy. That's true, he said. You need the joy to bear the pain and sorrow. So do you want to follow me? I said, Amen. Tomorrow. He said, look, I'm not asking you to spend an hour or two with me, a quick salvation sandwich and a cup of sanctity. The cost is you, not half of you, but every single bit. Now tell me, will you follow me? I said, Amen. I quit. I'm very sorry, Lord, I said, but I'd like to follow you, but I don't think religion is a strong thing to do. He said, forget religion then and think about my son and tell me if you're strong enough to do what he has done. Are you strong enough to see the need and strong enough to go? Strong enough to care for those who know and wants to know? Strong enough to say the thing that people hate to hear, to battle through Gethsemane in loneliness and fear. And listen, are you strong enough to stand it at the end, the moment of betrayal by the kisses of a friend? Strong enough to take the pain and wear it like a crown? Strong enough to love the world and turn it upside down? Are you strong enough to follow me? I ask you once again. I said, oh Lord, I'm frightened. But I also said, amen. I said, oh Lord, I'm frightened. But I also said, amen. As we bring our time of prayer to a close, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. ever-living God. We praise you for giving us new life in Jesus your Son and for bringing us together this day. Fill us with the splendour of holiness that our lives may bear witness to the power of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you for spending this time with us, and big blessings upon your day. <laughs>